then if you move to the next definition propagation delay the amount of time taken by the packet to make a physical journey from one router to the another router is the propagation delay simply if you consider this example how much time from here to here it is taking this we are calling as a propagation delay okay this we are taking as propagation delay so for the propagation delay as we know time and distance how much time it is taking to travel certain amount of distance with this velocity with this speed so we have the formula that distance by velocity so same way here also how much distance it is going to be travel and then with how much speed as we know that time equal to distance by velocity distance by speed so same formula here we are using and this is the one of the formula we are very frequently we use these two things in the entire the course okay so this is d is saying that distance and v is saying that velocity now this is about something about propagation delay so let us see all these things together suppose this is the router and this is the next router assume so here how all these delays will be exist so this we are calling as how much time it is going to stay here we are calling as queuing delay this is as queuing delay then how much time to process inside okay that we are calling as processing delay okay that we are taking as processing delay then after packet is processed means it is decided the route so after deciding the route it have to be keep the data into the outgoing link so how much time it is taking to keep that data so that we are taking as a transmission delay okay then after transmitting that data into the outgoing link so this have to be propagate to the next router or to the destination so this we are calling as propagation delay okay so these are the these four are the definitions which we are using in in this swp queuing delay processing delay and uh, transmission delay length by bandwidth and then propagation delay distance by velocity so these are all the these four definitions we are going to use these delays we are going to use uh, in every concept in this remaining computer networks course so this is something about all these delays then next we will see some <coughs> errors we will see some kind of different definitions we will see next then thank you